I like to spread it. I like it with my fingers. That's what she said. Well, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to another best of beauty from trash to treasure and this is a monthly recurring video where i go over all the products that i have tried in the prior month and put them in a tier system and if you're new welcome my name is nikki i'm 40 35 and a bit i'm it's almost my birthday or it has just been i don't know i'm 35 and a bit and if you want to hear about brands that no one else is talking about if you want to learn how to apply makeup on a skin that's no longer 25 well it was 25 20 years ago but not anymore you know then this is the channel for you subscribe now become part of my nest links because we are having a blast here on the internet um also what is kind of important uh to know maybe is or at least handy to know is that i'm slightly orcish that means olive Yes, and glorious, but that's obvious. Never mind. I don't know. Come live with me in my cave in the swamp and we will have loads of fun. Or something. Anyway, yes, as I said, the best of beauty from trash to treasure. This is basically my monthly fails and uh, favorites and fails video. Let me explain the tears. The first tears are oh, hell no. I don't really need to explain what goes in that tier, right? Those are fails yes <laughs> then we have the next tier which is meh and in meh are products that are yeah that they're meh they are they function but it's nothing really to write home about and basically if i lose them or if i i don't know pan them i would probably not repurchase because they're not that interesting they are meh yes okay the next category is twilight zone And in that tier are products that are good products, but <clears throat> and they function, and I like them, and I would uh, recommend them. But if I were to lose them, or if I of, or if I were to run out, I would repurchase, but not immediately. You know, I will be fine waiting, or I don't know, maybe never repurchase. But I like them enough that I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to repurchase, but I don't have to do it right away. Does that make any sense at all? Then the next, maybe not. <laughs> Then the next tier is Amazeballs. And in that category are products that I really, really love that I would immediately repurchase if I were to lose them or if I want to pan them. And I would definitely, definitely recommend to you guys. Then the last tier that we have is you have to pry these out of my cold dead hands. These are products that I will fight you for. Uh, in the tiers, they are not ranked per se, but I do have sometimes I have products that are on the cusp of one tier to the next. Uh, that is the gist of it. All the products will be listed down below. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't really have any oh hell no's this month. I know what is. I don't know what's happening. I didn't have any last month either, so maybe I'm on a roll. So yeah, unfortunately, no oh hell no's, which is very sad. But sometimes it just is what it is. So we are going to go straight to the meh category and i i was thinking about putting the next putting the products that i'm going to mention in the oh hell knows but they are actually too good for that so that's why they're here in the mac category and it's three of the perfumes from um, makeup revolution they came out with perfumes i'm on a perfume kick i was like let me try some so i have passion i have a uh, revolutionary noir and i have Le revolutionary now they are not they don't stink But they're not that nice either. I That's my opinion. I am kind of particular about my scents, apparently. I like sweeter scents. I like vanilla, for instance. Um, but I don't like overly floral scents. I love fresh scents. Uh, the the, I want to say shade. The scent Amber from Kayali. I really, really like that scent. Uh, the citrus, a little bit less so. Um, I have a few from... The meter, I think it's called here. And they have very special... They have a tomato plant scent. I love that. I also have some from Chrome Pebble that I really, really love. But these are... Oh, yes. And from Hema. If you live in the Netherlands and you like perfumes, Hema's own perfumes are actually very, very nice. They are very nice. These remind me of the very, very cheap drugstore ones that we can get. They are not bad, but... 
it's not what I go for. So I, yeah, but, but because they don't stink that much, it's no. Nah. When I smell them, I'm like, hmm, they're okay. They're okay. And then when I spray them on, I'm like, yeah, but it's really not what I go for. So that's why they're in the meh category, because they're actually too good to be oh hell no's. And yeah, they're on the cusp actually between the oh hell no and the meh. I'm going to give these because for me, it's really not what I go for. It was what I go went for 30 years ago. Let's just say that. The next thing that I have here is in the MAC category because, yeah, again, it's not a bad product per se. It's just not really what I go for. And it is something that I got in PR. It's from V Cosmetics and these are falsies. I like how comfortable they are. I like how light they are, but style wise, it is something that I will grab. But not often, uh, because they are a little bit too... Maybe they are a little bit too straight. Do you see the style? I don't know. I usually go for a little bit more of a crisscross or something like that. So yeah, I do I do like them. But they're, yeah, they're, they're meh, because it's not a style that I go for a lot. They are very comfortable though. Yeah, and then I have a product here. Is it still in the meh or is it going to go to the Twilight Zone? No, this is actually still in meh, because honestly... As, a, as the product per se itself goes, it's a nice one. But if I were to, to lose this one tomorrow, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this particular one. I would get an equivalent, but not this particular one per se. I got it because it was convenient. I ch chucked it in the order. And it was from it's from Makeup Revolution. It's a black eye pencil. Um, as I have the black and I have the white. And I really do like them. They stay in my waterline. I can tightline with them. They don't stay all, all day. But they stay long enough. It, it's not like um, when I blink it goes everywhere. So as the product goes. As the eye pencil itself goes. It's nice. It's nice and creamy and it stays. But it's not something that I'm like. And this is my holy grail. If I were to lose this one, uh, I will immediately repurchase this particular brand. No. So that's why it's in the MAC category. As the black eye pencil goes, it's a nice pencil. If you're making a Makeup Revolution order anyway, or you have an order waiting somewhere and they also have this, chuck it in. But I, you don't need to necessarily go out of your way and make an order just for this particular pencil. Does that make any sense? I hope so. So let's go to the last uh, product that I have in the meh category. And as per my own rules, I will not repurchase when, not necessarily repurchase when this product goes out. Now, and work with me here. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Flawless Finish Powder. I love the packaging. Um, and I, this is the medium. I was really debating which do I need. Do I need the fair? Do I need the medium? Well, I bought the medium first. Yes, you heard me correctly. I bought the medium. And this one is very yellow. Which is fine. Um, but me being an olive, um, it can turn orange. And I did not really know, the, know it until I noticed. Because I was paying attention. Because I heard from someone that the powder oxidizes their foundation. So that they cannot use it underneath their eyes. And they are in skin depth the same tone as me. So I was like, let me check Yes, this oxidizes my foundation and it makes it warmer. So I can play with that. So that's why it's not an oh hell no, because I can play with this. Because I have foundations that are too cool for me and too light. And then I can use this to basically warm and kind of darken up the foundation. Uh, but I will not repurchase this once it runs out. Because it's not the shade I need. And that is why it's in the meh category. As the powder itself goes... I really, really like it. And I will mention that a little bit later in the video. Yes. Let's next go to the next category, which is the Twilight Zone. And in the Twilight Zone, there are products in here that I would really want to repurchase if I lose them. Or I run out or whatever. So, not to say that I would immediately, but I would really, really want to. So, let's start with the first thing. So, the first product that I'm going to mention in the Twilight Zone category is a product that... Is here because I love the I love to look at the color story and the quality is very very nice. This is a palette that was sent to me in PR. It's from Gourmand Girls. It's the Cela Moore. It's their their latest palette for Valentine's Day, and this is the color story. Now this is not a color story that I would have 
honestly, if she didn't, if she hadn't sent this to me in PR, I would not have bought this palette because the color story is not what I go for right now. However, the quality is very, very nice. Very, very nice. And I love the fact that you have this shade in here, which is a topper shade. So you kind of need to build it up a little bit, but you can really nicely transform all the other shades that are in here. And it is a very interesting color story. It's more interesting, I feel at least in person, than it is on the pictures. Um, and because of that, it is here. Because honestly, I think that if I were to lose this one, or I, I don't know, I would drop it tomorrow and it would shatter... I think I would want another one. Not necessarily immediately. And I wouldn't be heartbroken. But I would want another one. Because this color story. It's just. It just makes me happy to look at. And I know it's the combination of the pinky and the green. Because I love that. I love a green like that. And then in com she, she. Doodles by the bunny who designed the palette. Really knew what she was doing. Well we know that she knows what she's doing. But yeah. So this is the first. Uh, palette that is basically here in the Twilight Zone category. So the next products that I'm going to mention uh, in the tier are not ranked. They are just they are just here. I love them all equally. Let's just say that. Let's um, start with the palette that I have on my eyes, which is from Catrice, which is the new Pro palette, the Hint of Mint. I think that this is Cat the most fun uh, color story that Catrice has done lately. I think this is just such a fun, fresh color story. Honestly, this is the third look that I filmed with this. And if you know how, maybe you do know how I film usually with these palettes. I do two looks. But this one warranted a third. I felt at least. And that is kind of saying something. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this, go watch the video if it is online. If it's not online, it is coming. So make sure that you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell. Because I I think it, yeah, as I said, I think it's online already. If it is, I will link it. But yeah, there I give you my overall thoughts But I really, really like... I love the color combination of the dark brown and then the mint. I just love that. What can I say? Um, and I love mint. Especially in combination with... That's it! It reminds me of an after eight of chocolate mint. Ooh, that's so tasty. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go, Let's go next to um, V Cosmetics. Um, the As Above, So Below palette. The artwork is stunning. This is very much my vibe. This outer, this this makes me happy to look at, honestly. The color story is very, very pretty. Also, very much what I go for. And I had a lot of fun creating all the looks with this palette. The reason that it is in this category and not one higher is because, well, I love this color story right now. There are other color stories that I go for more. Yeah, I do really, really love this palette. It's just that if I were to... Um, I don't know, throw this on the ground and it would shatter. I would repurchase, but not immediately. It is a very, very nice palette. And if you want to know some more in-depth thoughts, go watch the video. The next product that I have here is also from V. It's one of her blushes. And this is in the shade Sorcery. And it's a color thing. I really, really like her formula. A lot. And I also really like this color. Not enough to repurchase immediately, though. If I were to, sh if I were to lose it or to pan it. Or to shatter it. Because I don't know if I will pan. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, but yeah, I think that the color is very, very pretty. This is a matte one. And it's an basically a more orangey, orangey one. And I really, really like the color of this. But yeah, I would not immedi immediately repurchase <coughs> this color. The last product that I have in this category are nails. And it's from Kiss. Um... These are the um, uh, acrylic French nudes in medium. The medium length. And this is just a box because I have the second set on right now. It is actually a first for me to get two complete sets out of one of these boxes. The reason that it is here is because I kind of I kind of need to repurchase. Because I am wearing the last set. But I haven't yet. Um, I really do like these nails. But they're not my holy grail nails. So... That's why they're here. You know, if I'm like, yeah, let me repurchase, I will repurchase. But if I see another pair that catch, catches my eye, I'm fine with that as well. But they are very, very nice. This, this set is now on for a week and it's still, it's still going strong. The last set was on for about three, yeah, I think three weeks before I took them off. And that's very, very long for me. Very long indeed. The next category I'm going to go to is the Amaze Balls. Yeah, these are products that... Fun, the fun thing is that I, I bought two 
of the what's in the tier and the rest I got in PR. But honestly, everything that is in this tier, I would immediately repurchase if I were to run out or pan and shatter and all that. So let's start with face then and because I also have eyeshadow palette here. Let's start with Let's start with this one, the other blush from V Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Witchcraft. This shade, it's it's a little bit of a corally. I don't have a lot of shades like this. And uh, it also has a shine. And it is just such a fun, happy... It's just a, such a fun color that looks very, very pretty. Especially if the weather is a little bit warmer. It's shitty weather now. But I, I'm I'm hopeful that we will get better weather soon. I love the pack... The, I love the outside. I think that it's a very, very nice quality. And this is a blush that if I shatter this particular color, I would I would definitely repurchase immediately. Yes. The next thing that I'm going to mention is also complexion. It's the other powder from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in the shade Fair. This is the shade that I needed. Yeah. Um, I can see myself panning this. That's why it's here. Now, I'm not usually a pressed powder girl. I love... I have one press powder that I love besides this one. Um, but usually I use loose powders. I don't know why, but I just prefer it. But this, when I set underneath my eye, it looks pretty. When I use it here, it blurs my pores. Now, it doesn't set my face very heavily, which I don't mind either. But this is a powder that I'm confident that I can dust over and buff with. If I want to. So for instance my Lisa Eldridge foundation. I usually don't have to set. But I can use this one to set underneath my eyes. And to buff out. If I am a little bit too heavy handed with my blush. For instance. I would. Yeah. If, if I run out of this one. I will repurchase. Just saying. Okay. Then I'm going to go to eyeshadow palettes. And I got everything in PR. What can I say? And I have discount codes with all the brands. That I'm going to mention next. Let's start with Saints, Angels, Sinners. And their Over the Moon palette. This is such a... Such a cute palette. The reason that it's not in the next category. Is because of one shade. So let me show you the color story. Let me show you the front first. This is the front. How cute she is that. And basically the front. That's what's in the palette as well. So here's the color story. This makes me happy to look at. So so much. The quality of the shadows is very very nice. The mattes. They blend well. They build well. The shimmers are stunning. The only thing that I'm going to complain about. Is the shade Mead Moon. Because I wish it was a dark brown. Instead of a brown with red in it. So when I look at it, and I can also see it in my viewfinder, you can kind of see the red, right? Now, it's not a problem per se if I want to deepen up this one. But if I want to deepen up this one, then it kind of be becomes a problem because it kind of gets a little bit muddy then. Uh, I would wish... I don't know if these are magnetic that I can, get, can, can plop them out. But I would wish that this one was a dark chocolatey brown. Actually a neutral brown. So that I can deepen up both this one. And that one. So yeah. That's that's the only reason it's not higher. Because I really do love this palette. I think it's stunning. Okay the next palette that I'm going to mention is from Nomad. It's their Whistler. Uh, Whistler Snow Lodge palette. This is the artwork that I love. I love the puns that are on there. I, I love it. And then the color story. Ew. This is the color story. Very, very pretty. I did five looks with this and I did an ice watching video. So if you want to know my thoughts, go watch those videos. But it, it's here for a reason. If I were to lose this one, I would repurchase this palette. I really, really love it. I really love it. If you want to know more thoughts, go watch my video. Then the last palette that I have here in this... Um, Tier is it's an older palette. It is from DD Signature, and she sent it to me in PR quite a while ago. And it is the Exotic Skewer. It's actually the only palette that I have tried right now from the Skewer collection. This is it, and this blew me away. Honestly, <laughs> you should watch the video that I did with this because this is the mattes. There are bright neon mattes. Usually neons you pack on and you kind of leave alone, like with pastels. Now, if you have very good pastels or very good neons, you can kind of blend them out a little bit. These are very good neons. And the shimmers. Oh. 
chef's kiss. So if I shatter this one, I'm going to buy. Yeah, I understand the hype for Didi's signature. And if you want to save some money with the, some of the brands that I mentioned, the links or the discount codes will be in the description box. Now I'm going to go to the last tier, which is you will have to pry it out of my cold dead hands. Yeah, the first product I'm going to mention, I was kind of debating um, if it should be in this tier or maybe in the last one. But honestly, ever since I got this, I have to say to myself, stop using it. You need to use something else. You have more in your collection that you love. You need to use something else. This is just... Yeah, I, yeah, honestly, I will fight you for it. It's a foundation and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have shade 5 neutral, which is described as a fair to medium, I think, neutral olive. Um, it's not fair and it's not neutral. Uh, it's warm. So it's neutral, warm leaning, which is perfect for me. I love this one so, so much. Now, how do I use it? I don't use a primer. I don't use a primer underneath because I have found if I use a primer, it's not nice. So I do my skincare, I chuck my sunscreen on, I let everything sit and then I put this foundation on. I actually like to apply this with my fingers. So blend it in with my fingers because for me it's emollient enough to do that. And my skin is normal. It's normal. It can get dehydrated and in the summer I'm a little bit more oily. But that's not weird because I sweat. Because it's then hot as hell. So pretty normal overall. Um, but this is emollient enough to... Spread around with my fingers, which I love to do. I can build it up and if I build it up, I just tap. Then I usually go over with a dry sponge. I can also use a wet sponge if I want to shear it out more. But I like I like to spread it. I like it with my fingers. That's what she said. Uh, the color is, uh, is spot on for me as well. I love the way that it feels on my skin. I love the way that it wears because for me, nothing weird happens. It doesn't break up. I can powder it. I do feel that I want to powder it with her own powder. I think that for me, it looks best if I use her own powder for it. Um, but for the rest, you know, my, my cream products go on top very well, especially how I use them. My powder products go well on top, but I do want to set it. That's it. So if you're having trouble with this foundation, try it without a primer. And yeah, try powdering or not powdering, maybe different powders. Yeah, when I first tried it with the medium one, it oxidized a heap that I was like, it wasn't as dark when I put it on. And then when I use it with her own powder, which I like best in fair, it's just it's just a stunning foundation. What can I say? It's I don't have it on my face today, and I'm very sad that I don't have it on my face today. I love it. Okay. Then Yes, I have her, the Natasha Denona Gold. She was at Sephora Friends and I, I ordered. And I will fight you for this one. I have wanted this ever since it released. And when it released, I was very, very much into color. I'm still into color, but I wasn't allowing myself to like this color story. But I did. I really, really did. And I really, really wanted it. But I did not want to pay the money for it then. Um, and I, uh, yeah... I did want to do it now. I have been lusting after this one ever since it launched, honestly. So when they brought it back, I was like, she's mine. She's mine. Mm, and I will fight you for her. Just saying. The last palette is a palette that is new to my collection. Um, and I think that when I show you, you won't be surprised that this is... It, it is number one of the video as well. Yes, yes, yes. And it is this one, the B palette from Lashes by Lina. This is Louisiana, New Orleans inspired. The names are in Creole, French Creole, if I'm not mistaken. The outer box, can we just appreciate the artwork? Yes, she's bulky, but I don't care. And then I don't know if you can see the detail on the side of the box. There's also detail around the mirror. The mirror is very, very sturdy. And then this is the color story. Honestly, the attention to detail. This is such a heavy duty, sturdy box. The way it came packaged. Oh my Lord. I have never had a palette that was packaged so extremely well. It was insane. There was, um, I want to say toilet paper, but that's not it. The paper that was around it, it's, it's kind of like... a a specific kind of tissue paper. It had bees on it as well. It was just the whole experience. And then the color story. 
uh, for a bee or a honey inspired palette it's just so unique to do a color story like this such an all-round palette and the quality chef's kiss i did five looks with this i i think i truly showed what the palette can do so i will link that video down below and then that's it for today that was my best and worst of beauty from trash to treasure thank you so so much for watching if you're still here leave me the bee emoji or the yellow heart one or the other yes <laughs> thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon in my next one bye